Jean-François Rubel or Rubel was a French lawyer, diplomat, and politician of the Revolution. The Revolutionary. Born at Colmar, he became president of the local order of lawyers, and in 1789 was elected as a deputy to the Estates General by the Third Estate of the Bailliage of Colmar Schlestadt. In the National Constituent Assembly his oratory, legal knowledge and austerity of life gave him much influence. A partisan of revolutionary reforms, Rubel voted in favor of reforms such as the civil constitution of the clergy, but opposed the recognition citizenship rights for Alsatian Jews. In July 1791, after the flight of Louis XVI, the constitutional king, Rubel left the Jacobin Club and joined the Fulents. During the session of the Legislative Assembly, after the Constituent Assembly was dissolved in September of that year, he exercised the functions of Procureur Syndic, and was subsequently Secretary General of the Département of Rhine. He was elected to the Republic's National Convention in 1792, and was its envoy to the Rhineland, advocating the union of the electorate of the Palatinate and other territories with France. A zealous promoter of the trial of Louis XVI, he was absent on mission at the time of the king's condemnation, directorate and retirement. He took part in the Thermidorian reaction movement which led to the fall of Maximilian Robespierre, and became a member of the reorganized Committee of Public Safety and of the Committee of General Security. In early 1795, he assisted Emmanuel Joseph Cies in negotiating the surrender of the Batavian Republic to the French Republic. His moderation caused his election by 17 département to the Council of 500. Appointed a member of the Directory in November 1795, he became its president in 1796. He then entered the Council of Ancients. In office, Rubel dealt with the royalists' attempted coup d'état, as well as the conspiracy of the equals, he engineered the annexation of Rhenania and the southern Low Countries to the Republic, as well as the invasion of Switzerland, but was retired by Ballet in 1799. After being held responsible for the French defeats of that year in front of the Second Coalition, after Napoleon Bonaparte's coup of 18 Brummer he retired from public life, and died at Colmar.